All right, this is a demonstration of the new Tap Now keyboard assistant. And this allows you to start tapping right away without having to first memorize the tap alphabet. Uh, there's a tutorial that comes with this that teaches you some foundations that I highly recommend. So for example, before you even start this, you should know the vowels. They're really easy. It's A, E, I, O, U. And these are just single, single finger taps um, with your thumb first for A and then each sequential finger for the other vowels. It also teaches you delete. These are these three middle fingers like this. Delete, 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 delete. Um, space, you should also know in advance, so that's just all of your fingers tapping. And in tap, uh, all of the punctuation is done with a quick little double tap, boom, boom. So to double tap a period, you do a double space, boom, like that, and that's a period. And now I'm gonna just delete this and I'll show you how this works. So uh, this is a predictive keyboard. So it shows you the seven most likely letters that you're going to need with the most likely one being on the left. And within each tile is a tap code, five little dots with the darkened ones indicating which fingers you should use for that letter. So T, if you can see it, uh, are these two little dots, the second and third finger. And I'm gonna just tap those two fingers and write a T. Let's say H is the next one that I wanna do. So that's these four. E I know by heart, that's this finger. Space I'm gonna do. Um, now let's say you wanna do a slightly harder um, letter and when you're starting out, it could be difficult. So I'm gonna just, let's say, um, pick for example, D over here at the end. So D are these two fingers, but let's say I have trouble doing that. Uh, well, at the beginning, if I can't get it, I can always just use my finger. And this keyboard is active and so you can just do it with your, with your by touching the screen. Let's say that the, that the predictions that you want, the letters that you want are not here. So you can get the next set of predictions. So you can just hit next and that gets you the next set. If you don't want to bother touching your screen, you can double tap these two fingers. Uh, so that's, that's the a double S and that gets you to the next set of letters. And the letters that you know uh, are always at the end. They're not, a, not a, they're not in the list until the very end. So I'm just going to keep going. And there I get to the, to the vowels. Um, and there's a little delay from the time they're displayed because we want you to think about what they are uh, before it shows you the tap codes. All right, I'll go back to the beginning. Now on the second row over here, there are some controls. So in addition to the next, uh, there is what we call switch mode that gets you to numbers. It's these last three fingers. And then it gives me the tap codes for the numbers, which are very simple by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oops, eight, <clears throat> nine, and 10, okay. Um, now, let me get out of switch mode. Uh, shift is just the first three fingers, so this is shift. And now what I write is going to be capitalized. If I want shift lock, I just do it twice, boom, boom. And now everything is capitalized until I hit shift again. If I want a glossary that shows me the double taps for the punctuation, then I can, I can access that by either hitting this uh, or by double tapping these two fingers. So now I see the most common punctuation. So period we know, double tap space, comma, double space, double tap these two, which is the letter M, um, question mark are these two, and so on and so forth. If you don't see it here, again, you can tap to go to the next set. Now I'm gonna go back to the ABCs by double tapping here, and I'm back where I started. Now, in each tile, you notice there's a little blue line here, and those are progress bars, and they fill up until you've tapped that letter enough times that the system is convinced that you know it. So uh, once, you, um, once you have filled that progress bar, uh, let's say for T, I'm almost there, it will go into the known letters, and T will then appear at the end instead of within uh, the most likely predictions. There's also a setting screen, uh, and this gives you left-handed mode. It, it will enable and disable the touch screen in case you don't want to use it. You can reset your progress. And then it shows you wh what your progress is letter by letter for each one. Uh, one more great feature is that we have a thing called shortcuts. So there are some taps that are relatively difficult to the other ones. The hardest one in the whole alphabet is the letter J. I'll just show you what it is. It's all your fingers except for your ring finger. And I can do it actually pretty easy, J. Uh, but a lot of people can't, which is very understandable. So you can set a shortcut 
So now the tile, instead of having this complicated tap, will just have a double tap, a very simple double tap. And in this case with J, it's double tapping your middle finger, which is I. So I, I will also print, print a J. Um, and that was a little celebration because it now thinks that I know the letter J since I've tapped it enough times. Um, and that's about it.